Hello, I'm Anthony, here with the Team 10355 Project Peacock. At the time of recording, they currently have the world record. Uh, this is the Gilboa Robot 3 Days Robot, which they were selected to do. So they're going to talk about some of the similarities and differences, um, what they decided to change, and how uh, they've been working here on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Anymark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to Anymark.com slash Robits to learn more in order today. Andrew, you want to start talking about the similarities and differences? Yeah, so at the, so at the beginning of behind the bot, at the beginning of Go Build a Robot in three days, we had the starter go build a robot so it was a six wheel drive so it wasn't able to strafe it was really slow and so and it was also a really wide drive frame so what we did well what we changed it we changed it to having mechanic wheels so having mechanic wheels gives us the ability to strafe and whenever you, be, you can strafe you can strafe so you can makes it easier to pick up samples from the submersible and then we also have made it a uh, smaller footprint so if you have a smaller footprint, you can gives you more room to climb, gives you more room to maneuver around other robots, and it makes you relatively faster and um, just removes your overall footprint. And so, with our strategy, strategy being fast, we also change. We're also going to be changing our motors from 312s to 435 RPM motors, so we can zip across the field really quickly. So we can get those three non-line specific samples from across the field and into our high baskets so just that just gives that will just give us the upper hand in the game of the match then we tested with adding we tried to get for that third level ascent so we tried we put a linear actuator right here so that would get give us our second level ascent so we would be hanging on that first bar and then we also put a linear actuator on this arm here that's not there anymore but we tried to get that level th three ascent by extending this linear actuator up and climbing with that, but we were actually just a little bit off and we couldn't get it, so we took it off. And we didn't have time to take this off either. But other than that, then we, so what we did for our climb, we, we, we went back to the old climb that we had. So this hook, it just hooks on to the bar and then we just winch our robot up and then it climbs easy. So I've noticed you're using the new Go Build a Mechanic wheels. Uh, how has your performance been? What do you guys think of them? Um, so we really like them. Uh, they have a lot more grip because the new uh, they're a lower durometer, different durometer, and they're also they have those little bumps to grab grip onto the surface as well. And they're also 104 millimeters rather than 96 like the old Mechanics. So you do get a slightly higher top speed. Um, I would recommend for any teams that are considering buying them, if you have the money to, I would definitely recommend it. That's really impressive. Uh, Jackson, you want to start talking about the scoring that you were doing with this robot? Yeah, so to score, we have, you're doing it, run it. So we have this intake driven by a servo. And so the sample, it's going out, who knows not. Uh, so the sample goes in there and then lift it up. Then we lift it up and then we can extend with our slides to reach the high basket. Um, this can also pivot in order to score uh, specimens. So we go in to the side and hook it on. Um, and yeah. We also, we also yeah. have the climb for end game. That's really impressive. So what what kind of scores are you guys putting up? What kind of cycles? What do you what's that looking like for you guys? Um, our high score today was 135. We've been averaging probably around like 120 ish. That's really impressive. So what kind of what's your strategy in the game? So at the start a match, what are you guys doing? So at the start of the match, so since we don't, so our auto today uh, yeah, that we developed today was just a strafing part because that just gave us that three points. But we preload a sample, I mean a, spe a specimen. So 
we actually use a rubber band. Yeah, so, and because the wheel on the this that keeps it from digging into the ground when we're extending, it gets in the way of our, um, if it was just in the intake regularly, we can't score it. So today we just strapped on a rubber band for the preload so that we can just drive up, clip it on, and then drive back and it'll release it. It's not a permanent solution, but it works for today. So yeah, that gives us that 10 points at the beginning of the match. And then our main strategy is to go after, so after we score our, our uh, preloaded specimen, we go over to the R Alliance and grab their three neutral uh, samples and score them in our high basket. And then we go for our three neutrals and three Alliance specific on the field and score those in the high basket while our Alliance partner is in cycling to, into the submersible to the high basket. All right, so how do you guys plan on improving this robot uh, for the future? So making our drivetrain a little bit faster so we keep for being able to get around all the robots very quickly and being able to skid across the field very fast and get those three alliance specific, uh, three neutral uh, samples off the field so that they the other lines can't. And then being able to make our intake collect uh, samples and specimens, samples from all directions, that's, that would improve our cycle times in, in, in a tremendous amount, especially from the submersible. And then being able to actually collect um, specimens. And being able to collect specimens is going to be a really big thing, especially going up in the states and in the world championships. Andrew Jackson, I think a lot of teams can learn from this robot. Uh, thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, this has been Anthony on Behind the Bot. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The new Robit system by Animark can reduce complexity and enable robust builds. Parts align to a common one half inch grid, simplifying construction and allowing alignment of both structure and motion components. Robits enables teams to always have the parts they need to complete a build. Head on over to animark.com slash robits to learn more in order today. First Updates Now has become the Fun Robotics Network. Check us out at funroboticsnetwork.com and all the social links that you see above here. And check out some of our new merchandise options that are both fun and robotics related as well too, both on our website and right underneath this YouTube video.